freelancing slowly became popular. Then, because of something, became really popular, and now is kinda going down. Why? Well, let's figure it out by first of all, looking at my latest freelance coding job. Then, what is actually changing about freelancing, spe especially coding freelancing? And then we'll talk about me. What am I doing about all of this new freelance stuff? It's Lloyd. Let's look at my latest coding freelance project. I have been working on this project for the past two months, making around $100 a week, sometimes 80. Basically, I worked on this for like two months, made around $600, which is cool. And for $600, the dude got this. A SVG to 3D editor. When I started this, I had no idea no clue what I was doing. I just had no, it's not nothing at all. This is how it works. You upload a SVG, Slack, Google, whatever, basically just any SVG. You can view it around and then you can enable a frame. So the exact shape of the SVG, it gets a frame, make it longer, shorter. You can also like change the color of its material. So metallic, you can also have like border, makes bigger, smaller. Uh, there's a glitch here. I'm not sure how to fix it. So I'll figure it out later. <laughs> but the coolest feature is this one, backlights. It gives like this uh, neon sign type of feeling where you can even customize the bloom effect, choose how intense it is. And then you can also change the colors, maybe reds, green looks really cool, blue, oh, this one, pinkish is nice as well. This one was very easy to do, but it looks awesome. But yeah, that's basically the thing that I made. And your question probably is why though? <laughs> why would someone want this so far? has paid me $550, so 28 hours times 20. There is a bigger thing here. I cannot share it, but basically he has a bigger meaning. Of, as of right now, it does look kind of why though? Let's just make a quick detour and talk about how did I even get this freelancing job? Almost every single person that's in my messaging thing on Upwork, all of them came from invitations. I didn't apply to, I think one or two jobs maybe from all of these. Rest of them is just people finding my profile and sending me an invite because of my profile and my niche. So what happens is people uh, find my profile. Hello, my name is Peter. It was very cringe to make this, but I do actually recommend having like an introduction video. It, it seems to help a lot and also having a clear description of what you do. So 3D web developer, WebGL, 3GS. But the base law of freelancing <laughs> uh, does remain the same. So that's not gonna change. You need to have a good niche. You need to be actually good at that niche. So that's gonna be like the, I don't know, shape of the house. And then you have to have a good portfolio. And that's like the foundation of the house. That's not gonna change, I think, ever. That's the law. <laughs> if that is the law, then what is actually changing about freelancing? AI, specifically Cloudy 3.5, I think it's a lot better than ChatGDP for coding, uh, yeah. What do I mean by this? Well, what I mean is I worked for 27 hours times $20 an hour. I made $550, which is great and I'm not complaining, but if I had not used AI, I would have spent Okay, maybe 50 hours is a stretch, 34 or something like that. I would have basically made just a lot more money. <laughs> and yeah, which is good and bad. And I thought the same thing as you probably increase your hourly rate. This is like a good solution to this problem. I just had a look on profiles on Upwork, very senior WebGL 3JS developers that are charging like $30 an hour. I, I'm having a hard time getting freelancing jobs now with $20 an hour. And if I increased it to like 40, uh, it's just gonna be too hard to be hired. This one we can cross out. The next one is uh, don't use AI. Uh, no, <laughs> I just like it so much. AI is just a better search engine. If I need to find a function or something to do, I just write a prompt. No, AI is great. <laughs> Charge a fixed rate. This is 
kind of true. Twitter people have found a similar solution. For example, this guy, Praj, I'm not affiliated or anything. This is just the first person I found. He has a website where he says he's going to build your MVP fast and he simply charges fixed rates. I'll make your MVP development package for 2K and that's it. And I actually think that's a very clever way of freelancing. Uh, maybe some people wouldn't call this freelancing. They would say it's like micro SaaS or indie hacking. I'm not sure what it's called these days, but basically he's programming and he's charging a fixed rate for doing anything. So I would consider this freelancing. And I just think that's a very interesting and a good solution to being more efficient with AI. And this leads us to what am I doing? What, what, what basically am I doing? Want to do a same thing, but different, but same, but different, but the same. <laughs> I'm making web templates, uh, <laughs> uh, but it's different. Just hold up. It's, it's a bit different and interesting. Pre-made 3D landing pages. Uh, just code. This is a website I made. Uh, there's a free course if you want to check it out. For it, I made a little 3D interactive component thing where you can look at it, kind of interactive and just cool. My idea is to just make a bunch of similar things and people can just buy them and customize and make their own landing pages. Or I could try to maybe even give these away for free. And then some people want to order custom ones, which is also like a, maybe I'll do that. I don't know, something in between. That's the plan, at least right now. I haven't actually made anything. I'm currently testing the idea on my Twitter. Give me a follow if you like it. Uh, just kind of sharing my working progress of the things I'm making. My goal is to have 50 people that sign up to my wait list. I know it's very ugly right now. I, I will be making it better soon. I don't want to spend the next three months coding this if nobody cares. So I first try to get some emails, see if people even care about this. Do you code? Do your eyes hurt? Well, I have the solution for you. A coding monitor by BenQ. Yes, a coding monitor, and it's actually pretty legit. If you code during the night, the blacks of the screen are very black and very easy on your eyes so they don't get hurt. And you can even turn on a moonlight for some drama. And if you code during the day, it has a matte finish and fairly bright so you'll be able to see everything. Also, the monitor arm itself is very sturdy and strong so you can flip it, move it around and do whatever you want. It's great. It's full metal and very strong. Check out the BenQ coding monitor by following the first link in the description. Back to the video. That's basically what I'm doing. If you found this interesting, you'll probably find this video interesting as well, where I talk about freelancing or my coding project lifeline lifetime. Uh, this one's also pretty cool. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them down below. 